Yo. Hey, what's up? What's up, guys? Welcome to the show. We're back. Uh, it's Nick and Cotter coming to talk Steelers. We uh, had a big win on Monday night. That's right. Uh, Steelers beat the Broncos 28-10, to uh, and the defense came up pretty big. Uh, everyone came up pretty big. Uh, the game started slow or whatever. Uh, it was a defensive struggle early, but uh, coming up big late in the game, three interceptions of Orton. He only had one uh, the entire season before that. Yep, and, uh, you know, two of them. To Tyrone Carter. Tyrone Carter's awesome. Playing in place of Ryan Clark, and yep. uh, as a result, he's won AFC Defensive Player of the Week. That shows that we have uh, good depth in our secondary. I mean, you got a guy like Palomalu who came back a few weeks ago and uh, immediately made an impact, and Ty Carter, who was criticized for playing in his place, like not playing as well or whatever, and comes back and is uh, AFC Defensive Player of the Week at, at, as a replacement. He's uh, did well. I was, I, I was proud of him. Yeah, anytime uh, a backup wins... Player, defensive player of the week, you got to be happy. Anytime anyone's up for player of the week, it's, yeah. it's pretty cool too. I mean, Which, this, week, uh, this week, yeah, we're stacked. Yeah, Mike Wallace for the uh, the touchdown that he had. Yep, yep. Uh, four catches, 69 yards. I mean, like, he's just basically right up there with San Antonio and Hines right now, which is amazing to me. What's he up for? Or rookie of the week. He's, uh, yeah, rookie of the week. Uh, Big Ben. Big Ben's he's, up for. Uh, FedEx FedEx Air Player of the Week or something, yeah. something like that. That might be. Uh, they might be done by the time uh, this uh, airs. So uh, yeah, probably. But I vote mean, for them. But uh, hopefully you did. Maybe it's still going on. Um, but uh, so we also Twitter. Yes, we needed to uh, more topics because you see we just stalled out. We couldn't think of more topics. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, first uh, who Kev? All right, it's either Kevin. Kevin ABQ or Kev in ABQ. It should be up here. Either way, that's the the important part. Right. He's he asked, uh, is Troy the defensive MVP? And what you know, what do you think about the impact without him versus with him? Uh, I, it's very hard to argue that he isn't the defensive player uh, uh, on our team, like the the star defensive player of the year so far. Just because the impact that he has made or whatever, but I mean, it's also hard to go against a guy like James Harrison when he is coming off reigning defensive player of the month. I think it's just good that we even had this conversation because it means that we have two guys that are in that equation. Yeah, yeah, no, totally. I mean, that's it. it I mean, anytime you're making that argument, that's that's basically what you want. Um, so next, uh, Freak Show Mikey from uh, ninety six one <laughs> Kiss FM. Mikey Morning and Big Bob. Freak Show. Morning Freak Show, yep. Legendary. Uh, good for them. Uh, tune in. He says Richard Mendenhall and Moeldy Moore. Are they going to be able to take the place of like Willie? Are they going to, like next year with Willie gone or whatever, are they going to be able to carry the load? Well, I think, I mean, you know, we're, we're forgetting about Isaac Redman, who's a potential option that, you know, we've had on the practice squad all year. And even if it's not him, I'm sure the Steelers could either draft someone or they'll bring some, you know, we'll bring back Najee Davenport or yeah. Veron Haynes for like for the, the 12th mil- time. Exactly. And I mean, that's even to say if Mowelty comes back, I know, I think his contract is up and uh, someone might see how valuable he is to a team like the Steelers and offer him some money in a contract that we can't really uh, afford. So, uh it's gonna be it's gonna be Rashard no matter what he's proven it right now 155 yards whatever last yeah. year yeah yeah huge performance but uh yeah it's gonna it's just gonna be different next year and uh, I guess we'll see how it happens yeah. Redmond, Redmond was a good guy to uh, hide on the practice squad for a year yeah, I yeah. Think maybe hopefully I mean he can he come, can come in back and, and do well contribute uh, but along those lines yeah who else could contribute. Do we think Steve wants you know Steve. you know Steve from one for the other thumb writer at one for the other thumb. He wants to know if we think, if we agree with him that Willie will contribute before the end of the season. I think I would have to agree to some point. I mean, uh, it's still Willie Parker we're talking yeah. about. He's still able to run. As long as his, his, he's healthy, like that's been his whole problem for like the last few seasons. Yeah, get fully healthy and uh, prove to another team that you're worthy of a contract, basically. Because, uh, I mean, that's pretty much what it's coming down to. So I think he will. I'll, I'll agree with you, Steve. Uh yeah, I mean that's it. Sounds reasonable. I you know I don't know how much or when, but it, as long as even if it's in January, you I'm know, op- if the Steelers make it there and you know whatever, I'm an optimist. It's happening. So. All right, <laughs> you heard it here. Uh, <laughs> um, we're coming into next but, week though. Maybe he can make it happen this week. Uh, right. Up. Yeah, it's possible. Uh, we're, it's going to be a tough Bengals. game against the Bengals for yeah. the 
AFC North lead. They uh, they beat us last time, but we're going to be in uh, uh, Heinz, Heinz Field this time. And so. we've got Troy. Troy Palomalo. So, it's going to be a good game. Different game. I don't think, you know, Cedric Benson's been hot lately, but, you know, I don't think, he, you like you said last time, he's not, he hasn't gotten 100 yards. He didn't get he didn't 100 yards last time against, against us. us. I mean, he's not getting it this time. Yeah. We have, we've had a, a good record of not allowing 100-yard rushers, so... Uh, I think we were, uh, last time it was a close game just because their defense played a lot better than we thought they were going to play. Uh, that's why I'm keeping my prediction low. I'm saying 13-9. to 9. I'm saying the Steelers are going to win a close one, but it's Heinz Field, and that's going to be the advantage. Yeah, I, I agree it's going to be close. I think uh, I'm going 24-17, to 17, and I think three touchdowns because, you know, that sounds pretty good. I, I like, I'd I like, like to score I like three, three touchdowns, touchdowns yeah, that's a, and a field goal. So, yeah. uh you know, we'll see how that's that uh, actually turns out, but uh, yeah, I guess that that pretty much wraps it Go up. Go Steelers! Uh, Go Steelers! We basically just said a bunch of nothing that m- means nothing, and right we'll, as usual, it's going to be a high-scoring game, whatever. But uh, thanks for uh, tuning in or whatever. Yep. Thanks to uh, thanks Matt. Thanks to Matt. Meticulousmusic.blogspot.com. We'll see it somewhere up here. Uh, it's probably another sick beat going on. Yep, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, well, I think we're done. You, me, whatever. Uh, All right. You this. know, take it easy and stuff. Peace. Take it easy and stuff. <laughs>